Welcome back guys, hope you're having a beautiful day today and I hope you're ready for some insane parents. Just a little warning before we get into this, it's probably gonna be not heavy, but it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> so I hope you're ready guys. You know, we see it in the insane parents subreddit and the entitled parents subreddit. Well, you know, actually sort of every subreddit. But some posts are fun and hilarious and other ones are just a downright terrifying. And yeah, with that being said, enjoy. <laughs> you always answer me. Where are you? Hey, are you home? I just got a message that your door is open on your apartment. I'm going up there to check it out. My door ain't open on my apartment, LMAO. I can't find your cat. Yes, and it was ask your neighbor, Rita. I know with an N that you're in Huntington. You lie like a dog. I'm in my apartment. I just left from there. No, you didn't. I'm in my my apartment. Mum, you're insane. Ah, oh, well, um, you better respond because your cat ran away and your door's unlocked. No, Mum, actually, I'm in here and everything is fine. You can stop lying now. Are you awake? Yeah, why? Busy. What? <laughs> you seem kind of like I'm bothering you. Maybe we should text another time. It's important, but not that important, so we can try again later, maybe. If it's important, just give him a call. Okay. I don't know what is going on, but as your mother, I don't appreciate just being blown off in such a manner. I'm the one and only mother you have or will have. Don't bother texting back. I'm not going to read it anyway. I don't think you realize how hurtful you just were. Maybe you should reflect on that when you have the time. <laughs> what, because they said okay? Oh my god, how could you be so hurtful? Don't you have a heart? And like that whole conversation made no sense. And like it's pretty reasonable to say okay, as in like I'm confused, like okay? What's going on? But no, how dare you? Don't speak to me. And even if you do, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> okay? Okay, so the title of this one says, I'm living with my parents due to the pandemic, and my mother seems a little too concerned with me and my boyfriend's sleep schedules. I'm up by 9 every day, and he's up by 2pm solely because he works until 4am. Be prepared, I am waking you both up at 11. We are starting the new sleep schedule tomorrow. You might want to go to sleep now. I would rather be asleep, just like you would like to be asleep at 11 today. But that is not gonna happen. I will be a freaking drill sergeant and you both will be out of bed and doing something for the day. Wow, and they're obviously grown adults and this is how your mum's talking to you and your boyfriend. <laughs> and you wake up at nine and like that's a pretty average time to get up. A lot of people get up at nine and even if you get up earlier, what are you gonna do? Please her because you're awake? What's the point? <laughs> I'd be mad if I was the boyfriend and I was working until four in the morning and she wanted me just to get up to make her happy. Do you do night shifts? Probably not. This subreddit always makes me so grateful for my parents because they're not crazy. Can you come in here please? What is the point of having a phone to call you on if you don't even have it with you? I do. I just answered your call. What do you mean? Well, I couldn't hear jack crap. Why do I think I'm ringing you? I want to talk to dad. Hang up again. You lose that phone. For your SIM and credit, you're going to lose that phone. You freaking ignore me again. I promise you. And apparently, she just had her volume down. <laughs> oh, what a dork. <laughs> That's such a funny mum thing to do, but then she just flipped out. Like, hey, calm down, you know? I didn't do anything wrong. It's literally because you don't know how to turn your volume up. Um, did you and so-and-so vote for Biden? Yeah, we did. I love you, but we will be changing our wills. I don't want you to be surprised. I don't support socialism, communism, Marxism. I believe in living free. Everything we have will be going to a conservative. Uh, that's your right. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Can you please mail all my paperwork back to me? and the key to the safe deposit box, I'll mail you a check to cover the postage. Oh. <laughs> Imagine letting politics get in the way of your own family. That's so sad. Oh my God. And being so narrow-minded that you don't even want to be a part of anybody who doesn't think the way that you think. Oh, that's really sad. Even if you believe a certain thing, you shouldn't worry about other people who don't believe what you believe, especially if they're your own family members. You should love them no matter what. Not take them out of your will. Oh my my god. Okay, so this title says my mother, ladies and gentlemen, making fun of my sister because her dad passed away. What a lunatic. She doesn't have kids because she doesn't deserve them. She's a piece of crap in the flesh. Never again will I waste my breath on her. Wait a second. Imagine saying this to your daughter talking about your other daughter, their sister. Jesus. Like, be an adult, you know? Oh, poor thing. Has to make funeral arrangements for her daddy. Oh, wait. Daddy has a Range Rover. Oh, wait. Daddy 
daddy has some money. Ugh. <laughs> Saying that to your daughter about your other daughter makes me so sad. Just so immature and so mean and so rude. Like, be the bigger person. What sort of example are you setting? The baby is laughing and smiling in the middle of the night. He must have been thinking of his nonna or his mum. Haha, <laughs> no, probably nonna. And apparently this baby hasn't even seen his nonna since he was born. But no, apparently him smiling in the middle of the night is about his nonna. <laughs> no, it's definitely about me. It couldn't be about anything else. No, 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 no. Everything is about me. I posted the text my mum sent me saying my COVID test was negative and I blocked her last name out. Now she thinks I have more than one mum. <laughs> That's so funny. So what's my name in your phone? Uh, mum, last name? LMAO? What, because you have multiple? Or is that how detached you are? No, dad is just dad. I just, <laughs> yup, and then lots of question marks. Yeah, I'd be confused as well. Imagine thinking that, like jumping to that sort of conclusion. Oh, you must just have multiple mums. What are you not telling me? Hey, do you want to not be so paranoid? Jesus. I know you find this hard to believe coming from me, but it sounds like you're being fed some serious left-wing socialist academic academic propaganda. Dad, this was an article published by Harvard taught to business students at Kelly as an example for offensive business practices. Do you really think you're smarter than these people? Yeah, probably does. <laughs> like a lot of people do. Like, oh yes, I've read a few Facebook articles. I'm now an expert. My mum just said to me that she's gonna withhold my antidepressants to teach me a lesson. What's wrong with some parents? Oh my God. I knew that this video was gonna be frustrating. And guess what? I was right. And you know what? I really wish I wasn't right this time. I feel so bad for anybody who has to deal with stuff like this. It must be so hard. Okay, so apparently this person just didn't respond for like 10 minutes. What's your room number? Uh, tell me. Don't give me any more excuses. Tomorrow morning your phone will be cancelled. That's it. Text me your room number. Stop ignoring me. Trying to find the phone number for the RA. What is so secretive there? If you don't call me back, I'm gonna call the police right now. You know I don't play games. Um, I'm getting food. And like you can see the time on the right there. 806, 807, 807, 807, 808, 809. Like every minute. Calm down. Jesus Christ. You're freaking me out and I don't even know who you are. I'm on my way to a parole meeting that may not go so well. So I might be on my way back to prison. Well, no prison, just a 90 day drug inpatient rehab. And then two photos and a message that says, can your friend still get acid? Oh, what a bad situation to be. In. <laughs> Literally just said, no prison, just a 90 day drug rehab. And then the next message, can you still get acid? Oh. Some parents really treat their kids like their friends, but like in a really bad way. It's a bit scary when you're more mature than your parents are. For four days, the woman and her four children gulped down their own urine. She believed that by doing so, she was protecting herself and her family from the virus. <laughs> Read like two fake articles and then convinced themselves to drink their own pee. Oh yeah, this will work. That's exactly how viruses work. They can't get past urine. Okay, mum. You bloody nutcase. <laughs> but I mean, it's not the year for it either. Better to be safe. I feel bad for retail workers this year. So what, not talking or answering your phone can't be something I did. I'm glad we're still paying for your phone so you only talk to your friends and leave out family. I tried calling you back three times yesterday. I left you a voicemail too. I was at work when you called in the morning and I'm at work now too. Oh, let's do one more post, shall we, guys? And then I think that'll do us for the day. A Florida mother arrested after one-month-old baby was thrown at the father, cops say. I think we should go, guys. On that insane and not okay note, I'm gonna leave today's video here. That was some more insane parents. I delivered, didn't I? They're really insane. If you guys had fun today, make sure you smash like and make sure you subscribe. It'd mean the world to me. That was kind of painful making that video. Every Christmas, my dad prints off my brother's entire search history from the past year and makes it into a scrapbook for the family's entertainment. Hashtag my family is weird. <laughs> That's an understatement. Why would you do that? Actually, yeah, it would be pretty entertaining, but also terrifying. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Imagine worrying about what you searched on Google for an entire year because your dad's going to make it into a scrapbook. <laughs> um, Is dad okay? Mums, when you mention Corona,
coronavirus. Mums, when you mention head lice. Yeah, so true. LMAO right. Lice is worse than COVID-19. Um, lice has never killed half a million people. Oh. <laughs> I'm a firm believer that there are a lot of people that you really shouldn't listen to, and it's a real shame when one of them is your mum. By the way, like almost every bloody post on this subreddit is about vaccination, so I'm going to try and avoid them as much as I can, because they get old pretty fast. I need advice. Last week, my daughter was on the phone to her friends, and I heard her say that she wanted to be a stripper, and then she laughed. I took her phone away, and I don't allow her to watch TV. Is this the right punishment? I'm also thinking of deleting all her social medias and not allowing her to see friends again because they're bad influences. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how do you not be sad about this? Like, these situations are always so sad. Like, this top comment says, how to guarantee that your daughter becomes a stripper. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Why can't these parents just talk to their kids and treat them like human beings and, like, actually be there for their kid and not scare their kids? You want to be your kid's best friend, not their bloody enemy. Of course they're going to rebel against you if you're just a bloody ass. <laughs> Oh, it's like common sense, but I guess it's not. Adults don't eat food that they don't like, but for some reason we're supposed to hold kids to a different standard. Just like when we tell them they can't have bad moods, off days, or decide who can hug and kiss them. People need to stop confusing spoiling children with respecting them as fellow people. So what, I'm supposed to respect my mouthy, disrespectful 15-year-old walking adolescent disaster? Oh. <laughs> oh, Vinci's getting mad. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Imagine having a parent that thinks you're a disaster. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. And whoever this person is, do better, please. Oh my God. I don't understand how parents don't realize that a lot of the time, if their kids turn out bad, it's like mainly because of how they raise them. You know, like it is a little bit of a reflection on them. Like you raise these kids, they're only young. And like, if you think they're a disaster, it's probably your fault. <laughs> I think those are really cute. Oh, thank you. Where's my social number, by the way? Because I definitely, need it for today. Wow, I should have asked for it before I left. I did like twice. Why didn't you get it then? Because Will don't know where it is and you never told me. I have it hidden. Where? So it won't get lost or stolen. I need it for a job. I have the number but I need the card, mum. Of course you do and when I'm out of town. I told you I needed it and you didn't help me then. See if your dad will get it. It's my number, mum. <laughs> Bull crap. I should have it. I believe you told me you needed your social security number when I was on the toilet. It's my document and you were in the kitchen. Oh, bullcrap, it's your document. It is. It's literally my social number, not yours. You don't even need to know it. It's my document because I pretty much own you. Really, you don't. I think I would be very quiet if I were you right now because you were acting like a spoiled ass brat who thinks she's entitled to something she's not. Until three hours ago, you never needed your social security card and apparently this person's mum does stuff like this all the time. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, you know? Like, what do you say to this sort of stuff? This subreddit is one of those ones that's, like, so horrifying that you can't look away. Like, it's surprisingly addictive. I got my vaccine. Shaking my head, I'm not impressed. I'm not sure why you want to upset me. I'm not going to say more because none of it would be nice. I guess you can forget about grandkids. Thank you for ruining my day by upsetting me and freaking up our bloodline. I should silence your messages before you set this ignorant crap. <laughs> I love how these people think they're an expert at everything. <laughs> like, oh God. And the fact that they're calling this person ignorant. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a bit rich. I'm in a fight with my wife. Our nine-year-old son tried to get out of eating his dinner. I gave him an extra scoop every time that he complained and told him to eat it. He threatened to call the cops on me and kept saying no and begged my wife to end it, which I didn't allow. Oh yeah, this sounds healthy, doesn't it? He kept trying to throw up to end it and I told him if he threw up, he's still gonna eat his dinner. He cried until he made himself throw up, and my wife said I was being ridiculous. Yeah, you are. But I made him keep eating after he cleaned up his mess. He didn't throw up his food. She fought me and kept saying I was wrong. I insisted that I was right. My son was trying to make it a power struggle, and I won. Oh my god, you're proud of winning this argument with your son that's nine years old. <laughs> that's not how you be a good parent. That's not what you do to your kids. Oh, no. Okay, we can't let this soak in. Like, it's too much. We're gonna need some serious wholesome memes after this. Hey, everyone. So on the way out of that week-long break from art to focus on school, my parents just gave me the biggest middle finger I've probably ever received in 
my life in that they indefinitely banned me from specifically digital and pixel art because they learned that I've been sharing it with people that I don't even know via social media. And if I have a problem with it, I need to learn to draw on paper. Anyways, honestly, I don't even know if I'll be continuing visual art at all for a while, considering that for all I know, they've just erased the four years of progress that I've been working in pixel art because apparently it's better for me to have no passion at all than to share it with people who actually understand how to give me proper feedback or even give two craps about my progress. I'll probably only be posting photographs on here for a while, if that, and I'll most likely still be active on Discord, but to be honest, I don't even know anymore. Thank you to everyone who has supported me and given me feedback. I'll see you later, I guess. It makes me so goddamn mad that they've eradicated one of my only outlets and ways to express myself just because they're dumbass Karens who live by the philosophy that screen equals bad and how much they don't realize how passionate I am about this and how much I love this community. Oh, that sucks. Can you explain it to them like that? I guess they just wouldn't listen. It's so narrow-minded and selfish. Like, they don't care about what you think. They don't care about what you care about. They can't even think of anything long-term. And how could anything you're doing, like, in terms of art and sharing it with a community, how could that be anything but positive? Oh, no, nah, screens are bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't give up on your passions, though. Art's amazing. It's super emotional. It's super passionate. You might not be able to do it now, but don't let your parents crush your dreams. They don't know what they're talking about. A friend collected American Flyer trains. He had every accessory, several engines, and lots of rolling stock. He went to NAM, and when he returned, he couldn't find the trains. His mum assumed that he wouldn't want them anymore, so she tossed them out. He survived Vietnam and then came back to this stupid mum. Yeah, don't decide things for your kids, you know? And especially if this person is super passionate about their trains, <laughs> like Reverend Lovejoy, you know, and they're obviously really passionate about this sort of stuff, and like obviously had a collection of them, so they obviously cared about them. <laughs> Why would you throw that out? This one's a lot better than all the other ones we've read today. But still, how frustrating. My kid's god-awful attitude has ruined yet another outing. I literally cannot take him anywhere ever. I'm so close to losing my mind and giving up. The first opportunity we have had in months and months and he threw it away over something so embarrassing and ridiculous. I'm ready to dump him at a freaking psych ward and just walk away forever. I should return every gift sent because he doesn't deserve it. This was it. I'm never taking him anywhere again. I don't know how to help him. Yeah, that's obvious. I wish neither of us would have woken up. I pray for a carbon monoxide leak because this is pointless. Oh God. I've never met a more ungrateful, selfish, rude, horrible child and I feel like it's entirely my fault. If you wonder why I'm dead inside, it's because my kid has turned into a monster and I hate even waking up to another day of it. Your child is beautiful and he's a kid and learning every minute. Right now he's acting up, pushing limits, but nothing is ruined and he will be all right. Do not call your child names. That doesn't help anything. Love your child. You made him. Like this top comment. Somebody needs to be dumped at the psych unit and it ain't the nine-year-old. I'm looking for a chiropractor that works on newborn babies. Thank you. What? <laughs> that one's just sort of funny. Like, what are you talking about? Imagine a newborn baby being like, oh, my back really hurts. <laughs> I think I had a quick adjustment, mum. Oh, God, a newborn baby. <laughs> like, what? Newborn babies are like basically a ball of Play-Doh. You're not going to go and adjust anything. You know, at that point, they're barely even people yet, you know? Their bodies aren't even, like, beginning to grow. You're going to have a chiropractor, like, put all their weight on a baby. Are you insane? What are you guys having for dinner? Rice, beans, and chicken. I had some salad on the side. I'm not sure about so-and-so. It depends on what she is in the mood for. Lol. I cooked all this week. Rice and beans and tuna. Just a little side note. Don't eat McDonald's hamburgers. I saw an article where they were saying that the meat has human excrement, flesh, and they also said that the plant-based company are associated with McDonald's and their meat products. I will just eat chicken and fish. Human flesh, huh? Lol. Come on, mum. You just really believe anything you see on the internet. Yeah, they read like three Facebook comments and then they believe it. Like, oh my god, there's human flesh in hamburgers. Put your phone down. <laughs> Come on, mum. Go outside. Okay, guys. Time for some happy memes. When your bro breaks up with his toxic ex and y'all start hanging out again. She can't hurt us anymore. <laughs> yes. Reunited at last. Yes, I am interested in extending my vehicle's warranty. The phone agent. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I've been hung up on 600 times this week. Thank you so much. Beautiful.
beautiful Simpsons. Me showing off my cooking skills, my girlfriend, the burn marks and the cuts that I got while learning how to cook. But it was worth every second, wasn't it? That's like a lot of things in life, you know? A lot of people only see the finished product with everything, you know? And you don't see all the burn marks. You don't see all the cuts that you did when you were making this. Oh my God, this is my favorite moment ever. Yeah, and I'm not easily impressed. Whoa, a blue car. We better put the clip in. Yeah, and I'm not easily impressed. Whoa! A blue car! Never tell your child to follow their heart or that you just want them to be happy or successful. Tell them to obey God and seek his glory even if they die doing so. What? <laughs> How did that get 116 likes? How can 116 people look at that and be like, yeah, that's totally reasonable. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Support your kids. Oh my God. Tell them to obey God and seek his glory even if they die doing so what does that even mean i really doubt that they even know what it means can you move your car can you move your car i'm getting tired of your attitude you had better decide whether or not you want to continue living in this house i literally just didn't see your text why are you always so mean to me excuse you you just threatened to kick me out and you're calling me mean what have i done that is mean to you your attitude towards me i'm not hard to get a along with. You have company now, so we'll talk about it later. I want to get along with you. I hope you understand that. Then stop threatening to kick me out at the drop of a hat. Not reading two text messages and joking about not making you pancakes are not reasons for you to kick me out of the house. You know, these are all very valid things that this person is saying. Yeah, so apparently it's their stepdad and they just have like a victim complex and they're always playing the victim even though like they're the ones that are in the wrong. And it sounds like a nice nightmare so good luck with that okay here we have a doctor that has to deal with an insane parent i had asthma when i was a child so stop freaking patronizing me and telling me how to raise my daughter just because you think you're smarter than me leaves the hospital back in hospital two hours later six-year-old daughter in respiratory failure and admitted to icu uh, <laughs> just because you think you're smarter than i am they're literally a doctor probably listen to them oh She's just overreacting. I had asthma when I was a child. Can you be more narrow-minded? Do they just want to be right? Like, why do they do this sort of stuff? Don't put your children's health at risk just to prove a point. That is sad. <laughs> Answer your freaking phone. I have no service. I'm at home. Your calls aren't coming through. How did you answer the message, love? Internet. Oh, my ring on my phone. Answer and boy, quick about it. I can't can't call you. I have no service. That is so full of crap. You wouldn't be able to message if you had no freaking service. Surely that's what iMessage is. Yeah, everybody in the comments is saying that you could have FaceTimed her, but like, would you want to? I always get really sad on this subreddit. I feel really bad for these people, but oh my god, these people are going to be so tough and they're going to be so like equipped to deal with this sort of stuff. Like as awful as having a really awful parent would be, you know, you learn just as much out of a negative situation as you do a positive one. So like, I don't know, I've never experienced it, of course. I'm just sort of talking crap. But like, if you don't have parents that are teaching you the right things to do, you can learn from your parents and you can be like, okay, I don't like what they do and I don't want to be like them. I'd your child things, the things in your room are their property, then you're already doing it wrong. Oh, okay. If your child thinks that the things in their room are their property, then you're already doing it wrong. If you take parenting advice, from anybody who says something like that, you're already doing it wrong. You are crazy. Okay, so this one is like a conspiracy on Facebook. Evergreen is Hillary's secret servicing code name. It's also the name of a shipping company that transports children, drugged and boxed up in containers marked live art for delivery to elite P words and pedovores. Okay, that's somebody who eats babies. Okay, for possible all organ harvesting, you know what, torture and sacrifice. Yeah, I'm not even going to get into that. That's the problem with conspiracy theories. Life is relatively boring. A lot of people like to make up these fun and exciting conspiracy theories. And I don't know, because like some of them are probably true. But I think a lot of people just have way too much time and they're just bored. And I haven't set a date for the wedding yet. I just wanted to let you know we won't be doing the wedding at so-and-so and COVID vaccines will be required. I wish you the best of days 
And by the way, this is this woman's dad. What do you mean? We have decided not to get the vaccines and they're not available for kids, but I do wish you two the best. Take pictures. I was really hoping you would come, but it's your decision. I have to be honest, it hurts. Me too. You're not gonna go to your kid's wedding because of your political beliefs. Because like, that's guaranteed what it's about. Oh, that's ridiculous. And really sad. <laughs> oh my God, this subreddit is heavy. You know, like maybe it's not political, but I'm sure it is. Turns out disciplining your son is a bad thing. I took his Nintendo Switch away after he didn't clean his room. He started throwing a fit about how he bought the Switch and I had no right to take it. He needs to learn that he doesn't own anything if he's living in my house. Oh, you're insane. <laughs> they bought the Switch with their own money. <laughs> they own it. It's not yours. Oh my God. I bet they can't wait to move out. I love how these dumb parents think it's a good idea to be their child's worst enemy. Like you're never going to get any love and respect if you don't give it to them. Jesus. They're immature children themselves. 100%. You send your kid to school to read, write and do math. What you don't realize is you are allowing the enemy to conform and indoctrinate your child to the lies of the state. Undeniably and disgracefully true. Islam is now being taught in common core. Anti-God lessons are being pushed as a fact. Please join us now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Far out. Okay, a conversation with somebody's mum. Preservative. In hundreds of popular kids' foods may damage immune system. Okay, that's not salsa. And I don't think I've had a Pop-Tart from the Pop-Tart company more than twice in my life. Also, this is just one study from a site that I've never heard of. Um, fact check, sweetie. The Environmental Working Group is renowned for its peer-reviewed studies. It's not saying you do eat Pop-Tarts, though you'd want to know. Okay, lol. I was talking about how the domain was salsalabs.org. Great fact check, though. Salsalabs.org? What the hell? Um, it's right here in what you just sent me. Also, is the Environmental Working Group legitimate? The accuracy of EWG reports and statements have been criticised as has its funding by the organic food industry. Its warnings have been labelled alarmist, scaremongering and misleading. Oh, Wikipedia is not a good source. Wow, of course it's not. These people think that everybody's against them. No, 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 it's the government. <laughs> like, why are people so paranoid? So you're telling me the news article you just sent me was not at all alarmist or scaremongering? No, fact. Industrial chemicals in the supply is proven to harm children. Sometimes the facts aren't pretty and that's not scaremongering, that's reality. It ain't all cotton candy and unicorns. Sugar damages your immune system too. You know what else does? Yup, not exercising. Yeah, and stress and not enough sunlight. And exposure or ingestion of industrial chemicals. It's all pretty much the same. They use that ingredient because it's the best for their brand and doesn't cost much to create. They aren't putting uranium in the food, mum. I'm pretty sure a Pop-Tart isn't gonna kill a kid. Only eating Pop-Tarts and the parents not looking after the said kid will in fact kill a kid. Also, the FDA is there for a reason. If the Geiger counter went off while they were checking the food, it wouldn't exist. Just because the kid is eating Pop-Tarts doesn't mean it's not looked after. Exactly, meaning they will not die. It doesn't have to be uranium. These chemicals are endocrine disruptors that can affect the actual development of the child. The FDA sold out to corporations. They can care less about your health. Your health is your responsibility. It's not going to affect the child if the child is eating healthy and being healthy, such as love heart, eating vegetables and going outside. Facebook really messed you up, huh? Yeah, I don't know. That one wasn't nearly as bad as some of the other ones we've read. But yeah, it's really easy to just read an article and believe everything you see. Probably not a good idea. Okay, I think this one's another doctor one. Don't eat or drink anything after midnight before his three-year-old daughter's surgery the next morning. Tonsils and adenoids. While in into intubating his daughter the next morning, she vomited scrambled eggs causing her to aspirate them into her lungs. Her heart stopped and I did chest compressions on her for 25 minutes. We got her back, aborted the surgery and transferred her to pediatric ICU on a ventilator. Her father's response. She said she was hungry. I thought you were being too hard on her. It must have been something you did to her. Bro, they told you not to give your kid any food after midnight. So you give them scrambled eggs. They vomit it up. It goes really bad. They saved their life and now it's their fault. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it 
is time, my friends, for some wholesome memes. Hey, do you want to listen with me? Aww. So that's how cherries are made. How beautiful. Is Carl's meant to be Charles? Yes, it's Charles, but with a K. All of my sons start with a K. And apparently she has a Kyle, a Keith, a Kevin, and a Koloff. You're really gonna name your child Charles, but with a K? <laughs> Like, that's the epitome of just trying to be different for no reason. Wait, so your name is Charles, but with a K? Yeah, <laughs> my mum's crazy. I don't want to criticise this sort of stuff too much because it's totally personal preference, but I just sort of feel bad for the kid. Because, like, using a K for Charles, like, K Charles, it doesn't really work. <laughs> but anyway, could be worse, I suppose. Okay, so this one basically says that it's because they bought Animal Crossing. And this is their dad, by the way. Hey, girl, it was mentioned in the conversation that you were thinking of buying your little sister Animal Crossing? Please don't, she can't play it. The new updates and skins are terrible. Lil Naz is involved. Love you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> More crazy religious people that think that Lil Naz X is like satanic or something. And of course, you know, they think he's Satan and he's also gay. So they're like, oh my god, no, get away from my children. Let this remind me of um Helen Lovejoy. Think of the children. Got to catch them. Think of the children. Won't somebody please think of the children? Yeah, some people are well and truly ridiculous. No phone calls after 9pm. That was the house rule when I was growing up, but that's when the phone was attached to the wall. I have the same rule as a parent at 9pm, give me your phone. While everyone is in bed, I scroll through my oldest daughter's phone and read through incoming and outgoing texts. Check in on her social media, I stalk her in order to protect her. Oh my god, you're not protecting anyone. <laughs> but let me stop burying the lead here. Lead, lead. Last night while perusing through her phone, I noticed a new message waiting in her inbox from someone she didn't know. How do you know they didn't know them? Let's just say this young person wanted her to know that they were not a fan of her mum. I was referred to in a very colourful way. I responded to this young person and said, Hi, it's me, her mum. This young person responded to me and said, I'm sorry, I was told to do this. Yeah, don't go through your kid's phone. You know, just don't. You're not protecting them from anything, you know? All the things that you're trying to stop your kids from doing on their phones. I don't even know what that is, by the way. Like, if you stop them from doing it now, they're just going to do it later. Like, you might as well just let it run its course, you know? I don't know. I'm not a parent. I don't really know what I'm talking about. But I know a nutcase when I see one. Okay, somebody's mum. I looked closer at your account and saw the image of your $800 check deposit. I have pulled $600 from your account and you currently have a balance of $31. That check was from so-and-so and appears to rightfully be ours. I am profoundly disappointed. I will add the other 200 to your loan. Signing off, good night. Why? It was addressed to me. If it was from somebody else, how is it rightfully yours? I'm confused. I need clarification. Yeah, what? Is that like money that you earn somewhere? Oh my god, get a new bank account so fast. <laughs> like if I had parents that were trying to take my money that I'm assuming they earned on their own from a job or something, bro, I'd be out of there so fast. <laughs> that is awesome awful. You know, you're trying to get set up as a person. It says here you're 19. Your mum should not take 600 out of $800 that is rightfully yours. <laughs> oh, that makes me so mad. Yeah, I'd be going to the bank like ASAP. It says you're 19, so you could probably easily go and get a bank account. Yeah, and just don't tell your mum because that is so wrong. Like, that's not normal at all. Imagine having a 19-year-old kid and you're taking all their money. <laughs> what? Like, it's different from situation to situation, but it really doesn't sound like they deserve it. Okay, the title of this next one says, my dad after being rude to me when I came out as trans and kicking my brother out because our stepmom didn't like his girlfriend. I guess I don't exist to either of my kids. Oh God. I hear you, my three don't talk to me. It's been years. Felt that. It's okay, there will come a time. My daughter took off with her piece of crap boyfriend in August or September and goes on and on and on. Um, that's really sad and like it's probably not all their fault and they're obviously not willing to forgive them or anything like that. It reminds me of nice guys in incels. They're just like, no, I didn't do anything wrong. I guess I don't exist to either of my kids. Even though I kicked one of them out and treated the other one like crap after coming out as trans. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to everybody who has to deal with this sort of stuff. And I really hope that, you know, eventually you can all sort it out and be on good terms and, you know, have a good relationship with your parents. When the school nurse calls you telling you that your son is throwing up and has stomach cramps, what do 
do you do? Luckily, I'd left them an essential oils kit in case our son would feel sick. They have no idea what to do with the oils, but I was able to guide them through to help our son. I told them to put the Digest Zen Blend on our son's tummy, which helps relieve tummy ache. To put one drop of peppermint oil in his hand so he could inhale it with his eyes closed. This helps against vomiting and nausea. To put lavender drops in his neck to help him calm down. To put one drop of frankincense oil on each temple. The king of all oils. To break through any emotional issue that might linger unconsciously and to help him focus again. Thank God I know what I'm doing. If medicine, painkillers and antibiotics aren't necessary, I as a mum prefer natural remedies. Results? Our son's tummy ache vanished like a thief in the night. Like a thief in the night. <laughs> That's awesome. He started to feel much better within just a few minutes. He went back to class and he's perfectly fine. If I don't panic, he won't pancake. <laughs> he's so used of using essential oils that it's completely normal for him to work with them. I've had the school nurse apply some coconut oil in our son's hands. Since the peppermint oil is very strong, diluting it with the coconut oil is a safe way for children to inhale the essential oil. You want to know more about essential oils? Send us a PM to attend one of our oil classes so you know what you can do for your loved ones if you need to or order our essential oils with a 25% discount here yeah she's selling them it all came together at the end there of course she's gonna say stuff like this when she's selling them like yeah oh my god I had a rash the essential oils got rid of that I had a tummy ache the essential oils got rid of that I had a migraine the essential oils got rid of that here's a 25% off link here I don't even know if this one is an insane parent because they might not be actually serious. You know, like they might not have done any of that. They might just be making that up so they can sell more essential oils. This is my first Christmas without my family. After 25 years of marriage, I could not stay married to a woman who refused to seek the truth. She and my kids refused to look at the flat earth truths. <laughs> oh no. That I have shared with them. I encourage them to research for themselves, but they treat me like I'm crazy. I just couldn't take it anymore. Is anyone else out there dealing with spending Christmas alone? To me, it's better than spending it with my family of globe heads. <laughs> I'm glad to have a group of online like-minded individuals with whom I can learn from and gain support from. I bet I'm not the only truth seeker who is spending Christmas away from family because they can't see the truth of this world. I hope to hear from some of you today. Oh my god, you actually think you're seeking the truth? <laughs> you think the entire human human race has just been hiding the fact that the earth is flat? Think about it, dude. <laughs> and like all the satellites that take photos of the earth from space like every 10 minutes. Like, no way, dude, they're all fake. That's all a government conspiracy. We're surrounded by a huge ice wall. And one time, I knew a guy who fell off the edge. His name was Steve and he just walked right off and he fell off into space. Never saw him again. Like, yeah, they treat you like you're being crazy because you are being crazy, dude. And also, why why would you let something like that divide you from your family? And also, why would you let something like that divide you with your family? Like, even if you did believe that the earth was flat and your wife and kids didn't, it doesn't mean you have to, like, separate. Or does it? I've never lived with a flat earther before. Maybe it's impossible. You must be feeling crap today. Not really. Hmm, okay, well, just wait. It wasn't very wise to be one of the first ones to sign up for this experimental treatment. I just hope nothing bad happens to you son. Yeah, please don't fret. Just wish you could have talked to me first. Son, talk to you about what? Getting vaccinated? I didn't think I would have to run that by you. Yeah, and you can tell that they just want to be right. They don't care about you at all. They want you to get sick so they can be like, yeah, I was right. <laughs> and like that fits their agenda, you know? Oh, that sucks. Like, hmm, yeah, well, give it a while. It's going to make you sick because I'm right and everything I say is right. <laughs> and if you get sick, that means that everything I put on Facebook and all the arguments I've had on the internet will be justified. <laughs> Thursday is the day. If your father dies of a heart attack caused by you, I'm sending you to live with your aunt, so and so and so and so. That will teach you to appreciate Alex and what you have. Alex is pre-diabetic, overweight, sedentary, has a very stressful job. He's the perfect case for a heart attack. I will never forgive you for taking him away from me. Get a grip, kid. Stop whining about unfairness. Do your thing, earn your money or don't. It's your choice. Wait a second, so you're putting this person's dad's health issues on them? 
them if your father dies of a heart attack caused by you? Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Think about how disgusting that is. Like, I'm actually sort of lost for words right now. I think we need to go right into some wholesome memes after this. Imagine your father did, you know, that did happen. And then this person, which I think is their mum, blames it on them. Oh! <laughs> oh, we were going okay. And then that one just really hit me in the face. <laughs> more like kicked me in the face. We'll do one more that's hopefully a little bit less terrifying. And then we'll do wholesome memes. Hi, Maddie, where are you? I zone? How about a hi, Tommy? Stop being so rude and stop biting the hand that feeds you. Life is tough but beautiful. So start learning how to live. I know what happened last week, Sunday, and don't even try to lie to me. If you lie, you can steal. And if you steal, then you can kill. So never lie. You need to stop your nonsense, Matthew. My blood runs in your veins, son. Never forget that. If you don't pull your shut together, I'll pull it together for you. Hey, Maddie, so where are you? I just told you, Mum. <laughs> Thank you for the lecture. Yeah, that seems totally justified, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, wholesome memes time. Oh, no, my cooking is terrible. No one is gonna eat it. And then what, like a bug comes along? It's perfect. Like, yeah, you turn like a not wholesome situation into a wholesome one, but that's still kind of disgusting. Like, yay! If I can't cook, I should just chuck my food on the floor, and then, like, bugs will come along, and yeah, they'll love it. But now I've got bugs. <laughs> Sorry, I need to be more wholesome today. When you're behind on 15 assignments, and your best friend gives you his notes, thank you. I will never forget this. I would fight for you. Yeah, that's the only way I got through any math class at school. I had this one friend, and God bless him. <laughs> I would copy everything he wrote down. <laughs> and it's actually sort of embarrassing because I would do really well on the assignments because like I could copy his, but every time we had a test I'd fail. Ah. <laughs> uh, and I turned out to be a YouTuber, so <laughs> I guess everything worked out. Please transfer 15 pounds right now. I'm waiting. I am waiting. I'm not going to be told to buy someone a gift. I will do it on my own accord. You are 1400 up. Do it now. And apparently this is how their mum talks to them every single time they get paid. And that's I'm not because I gave you 370 of it. I'll do it on my own accord. I'm phoning your work tomorrow. Tell them to watch how much you eat and that you are bel- What? Bel- Wow. Oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> Not only what they said at the end there, but every single time when your kid gets paid, you message them asking for money. And not just that, you message them asking for money really rudely. Transfer money now, I'm waiting. <laughs> it's not your money. <laughs> Holy, we got thrown in the deep end today, guys. Ah, yes, the parents that encourage their kids to sit at home and just enjoy high school. And then there's me talking to my kids. Uh, you only have two jobs. You can easily have three this summer. Mean mum alert. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah, so funny. It's so hilarious. Like if they're joking, I sort of understand, but they're probably not. Imagine going to school and then you want to enjoy your summer break, but your mum wants you to have three jobs at the same time. There's nothing funny about that. <laughs> that sounds awful. Okay, so a conversation about somebody going to see their dad. Work Tuesday Wednesday and part of Thursday. Okay, I broke my laptop and I haven't been able to do much photography homework while it's getting fixed. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do it when I'm at yours if I don't have Wi-Fi. Look, you two use all of the excuses you want. I give up. I don't give a crap anymore. Be, uh, something. Do not contact me again. Bye. And yes, I'll always love you. Now you are blocked. I wasn't making excuses. I was only voicing my concerns about my homework to my father father because I'm just a little bit stressed about everything, that's all. Yeah, God. Your parents should not be more immature than you. <laughs> like, for real, it's so weird. You know, and like, obviously, I don't know any of these people, and I'm not necessarily saying that about this person, but like, there's a lot of that on this subreddit. Just parents that seem like they never grew up, you know? I'm sorry to everybody who goes through stuff like this. I'm sitting here trying to make this happy and positive, and I can't. Don't worry, I'll squeeze in some Simpsons memes if I can, and there'll be lots of wholesome memes at the end. Okay, so this one says, I've been made to believe that two different people were my father now, but neither of them are. I asked my mum who else was a possibility. I'm 32 and I would just like to know. Oh my god, really? That's so crazy.
crazy to think, isn't it? I have some questions for you. I did an ancestry test and I found out I'm not related to so-and-so. So I guess the big question really is, who else could my biological dad be? Everyone. What? <laughs> oh, thanks. Can you give me any information on so-and-so so I can see if my DNA fits with his relatives? We did a DNA test for you when you were a baby. 99.8%. So just stop it. You don't hurt my feelings anymore. I just pray for you. Of course they're thinking about themselves. I was told that there was no DNA test and I share no DNA with them. What kind of test was done? And I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. What makes you feel like this is about you? Yeah, exactly. I'm just trying to figure out who my father is. Not to mention that paternity testing in 1990 costed over $1,000. I'm inclined to believe the three people that told me there wasn't one and have no reason to conspire to lie. Oh, wow. And when she said everyone, <laughs> what does that even mean? What a hard situation. Like, seriously, good luck with that. I wish you all the best. Okay, this is somebody's dad. Y'all can just get your refund for my room now because I won't be doing that if they require a COVID test. Did you call the hotel? Okay, I called and they said we're only required to wear a mask. Okay, cool. I ain't wearing a mask. It's only in the lobby. I don't play the game. <laughs> the title says my dad, a wolf among sheep. Yeah, it just reminds you of the I'm very bad ass subreddit. I don't play the game. Unlike the rest of you simpleton sheep, <laughs> I actually have a brain. Yeah, okay, buddy. Just make everything more complicated and make everything more annoying when you just don't have to. It's really not that hard. Okay, so this one says, it's my birthday today. I removed my profile picture and didn't have time to change it back. I was busy with online classes. I get this message and seven missed calls. Why you removed your profile picture? You have me blocked, right? What? Why would I do that? What the hell? Will you please let me attend my class without jumping to conclusions and getting mad at me? Like when you just don't respond for like five minutes so they call you seven times? <laughs> you straight up can't live in a situation like that. That's it, I'm out of here. Something has to change. Listen, I'm gonna be busy sometimes. I'm not gonna respond. You need to trust that I'm doing the right thing and everything is okay. Especially if you're just doing online classes. It's not like they're out drinking and partying. They're doing their schoolwork. <laughs> oh my God, it's been 10 minutes. You must have blocked me. What's wrong with you? I don't even know these people and I'm getting stressed out right now. We'll transfer the Wi-Fi, so don't worry. Transfer the Wi-Fi to Arizona or and then she sends a funny video of monkeys. I know gorillas are a hoax. <laughs> and it says here that her mum has always been into conspiracy theories. Why would gorillas be a hoax? Oh my God, some people have way too much time. And on that note, guys, I think we need to check out some wholesome memes. Maybe even a lot of wholesome memes. When you're tired after a long day and you finally get to lay down. Aww. It's a beautiful feeling. And especially if you have worked really hard during the day. It's like, damn, I killed it today. I gave it my best. I did a good job. And now I get to be in my comfy bed. There's nothing better. 13 year old me after finally trying a burger after being picky about food my entire life. My family who's proud of me. I always get so excited for people who are picky eaters that aren't picky eaters anymore. The amount of amazing food that you're going to discover. I'm excited for you. When you're not good at expressing emotions, but the right people get to you. Shroomish looks happy. Yeah, whatever. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I don't want to admit it, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, so this person got caught pulling an all-nighter just to finish their schoolwork. And this is the consequence. Dad, mom put together a long list of chores for him to do today and send them through this text so I can see them. And they'd better all get done today. I'm severely pissed. The mom, one, hand wash the rest of the dishes. Two, fold the clothes. Three, clean your bathroom. That's all I can think of because I've got to go to work. He can clean all the bathrooms, mop and vacuum all the carpets, including upstairs. And dust. Mum, make sure he sees this before you leave since he doesn't have enough respect for us to respond. And also, I'm taking my office back this weekend, so all of it is getting dismantled and removed by this evening. That's so sad. And apparently they were working until 10pm, so of course they had to get their schoolwork done and they had to stay up late to do it, but apparently they're doing something wrong by 
staying up late and doing their schoolwork. Dude, if I stayed up all night doing my schoolwork, my parents would congratulate me. They'd be like, oh my god, well done, you did it. Oh no, I'm sorry you have to deal with that. And if you're working hard all day until 10 o'clock at night, you're gonna have to stay up. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're obviously a really hard worker. Why do your parents ruin your day and then act like they didn't ruin your day and wonder why you're in a bad mood? Yeah, and then you feel bad. And it's like, why the hell do I feel bad? <laughs> you bloody manipulating me, aren't you? You treat me like garbage. I get mad about it, rightly so. And then you wonder why I'm upset. I say something <laughs> and now I'm the bad guy. Unbelievable. Yeah, like I don't even have bad parents and that's happened to me before. I think this one's pretty relatable. What is your idea of a perfect morning? This person's mum, one that starts with a phone call from my son telling me he's repented and is now serving the Lord. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> what did your son do? <laughs> he's a downright sinner. <laughs> Mama, I've repented <laughs> and I am now serving... I shouldn't laugh, but like, it's really funny that somebody would even say that. Like, what are you, nuts? <laughs> I read a little bit more and it basically says that it's all because they don't really believe in God anymore now that they're an adult. You know, they're just like not necessarily very religious anymore. And their mum is not having it. Yeah, a little bit of understanding would be good, wouldn't it? I once blocked a hit from my mum and she told the whole family I tried to fight her. Oh. <laughs> Imagine having parents that were sillier and more immature than you. And you're the child. <laughs> That's just not right. Mum, Dad, there's someone outside my window. And you think I want to see that crap? That sounds scary as hell. Leave us alone, you little nerd. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry your parents are such assholes. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Just me talking to the demons outside. By the way, that's bloody terrifying. That picture of that face outside? Yuck. <laughs> there are lots of people out there that aren't emotionally mature enough to really look after kids. It just sucks. But if you're best friends with the demons outside, <laughs> that's kind of dope. Yeah, I'm bloody grateful for my parents. My mum goes on a rant about the small pride section in Target and about how God hates gay people. Me. Gay silence. <laughs> Oh, I'm in danger. I better keep my mouth shut or I'm going to get kicked out of the house. Yeah, that's really scary. And re that's like the saddest of all when your parents just don't accept it. Oh, for real, icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. Like icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck doesn't even do it justice. <laughs> my mum never apologizes. She just suddenly starts acting nice to me. Yeah, like in a lot of situations where you need to be the bigger person, like a lot of people's parents just don't be the bigger person. Strangely enough, like a lot of the amazing people that you see and a lot of the amazing people that I know and I look up to online they've all had crappy parents or like a rough childhood you know like a lot of incredible people do come out of these sorts of bad situations and like obviously that doesn't justify it it's awful like it absolutely shouldn't happen to anybody but like I'm just imagining if it was happening to me as a kid and like the only thing I could look forward to is like how strong of a person I would become you know <laughs> it's like damn I went through that I'm a warrior when the problem asks you what the problem is. <laughs> it's you, my friend. <laughs> you are the common denominator in all of my problems. My parents won't let me eat food until I clean the bathroom, the living room, and the stairwell. How's your guys' Wednesday going? You sure as hell don't need this sort of stuff on top of everything else, you know? I really hope everything's okay. I'm 27 and my mum thinks it's okay to still spank me. Oh, what? I love you, mum, but you can hit me and disrespect me and then act surprised when I defend myself. All you do is disrespect me. That's all you do and I'll smack you on the ass because of that. Because you're my child, but for you to lay your hand on your mum, girl, that is wrong in every aspect of it, so don't tell me you love me. I'm an adult and you're not allowed to hit me. I'm 27. But fine, I won't. I know we can never have a mature adult relationship because you still act like a child and that's all you see me as. Popping you on the ass for being disrespectful is not hitting, girl. Uh, girl, yes it is. Calling me girl like dad used to call so-and-so boy. Yeah, you can't be hitting your 27-year-old kid. They're not a kid, they're 27. 
<laughs> That's crazy. I can't even imagine that. Like, even older than, like, 17 or 18, I can't imagine that. And, like, at 27, you're a proper adult. <laughs> like, and so it sounds like they defended themselves, and now they're the ones who are getting in trouble. That's ridiculous. I'm only 22, and I'm so much bigger than my parents. <laughs> like, like, I can't even imagine if I was 27 and my mum tried to hit me. Don't get any more shots. I legit just got my second dose. They said I need a third next week, though. Like, what the hell? You're freaking crazy. You'll be dead in a few months. You're insane if you keep going back. I can't believe how dumb you are. Don't you see what's going on? You never listen to anything I say. They tell you to take the vaccine, but nothing changes. This is a depopulation agenda. I don't know what else to tell you. Well, shouldn't they depopulate a bit? Read a few too many Facebook articles, have we? Imagine siding with all that dumb stuff and calling your kid freaking crazy and insane and I can't believe how dumb you are. Like, <laughs> oh, that's awful. Where are you? I had an emergency. I had to stay. Not good enough. My friend had a seizure. You better be leaving soon. On the couch in front of us. Oh, that makes me mad. Oh, <laughs> I think we need some wholesome memes, guys. That's such an insane subreddit. <laughs> makes me want to cry and makes me angry and like every emotion possible. Or, well, you know, not all the <laughs> Not every emotion. But yeah, that was intense and not like camping. We need wholesome memes. It's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Grown-ups make mistakes. Oh, no, I ruined my cooking. Parents make mistakes. Sorry I yelled at you. Yeah, they sure do, don't they? <laughs> Teachers make mistakes. Oh, I spelled this word wrong. Animals make mistakes. <laughs> I chewed up your shoes. Bugs make mistakes. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Just thinking of a spider feeling bad because it messed up its web. Aliens making mistakes. Oh, wrong galaxy. I'm lost. <laughs> Rocks make mistakes. Hey, I was growing here. Sorry. You've made a mistake? Relax. You're normal. Plus, mistakes are a great way to learn. Yeah, that's exactly right. There's nothing wrong with it. If anything, it means that you are trying hard and it's an opportunity to get better. That's what I like about it. It's like, oh my God, I got this wrong. I can learn now. I can make myself better. I can make myself smarter. I can make myself better at this. How wholesome. I feel better already. My little brother telling me about his crush and asking for relationship advice. Me feeling like the best big sister ever. No. <laughs> How wholesome and beautiful. A text message from someone's dad. Get a magnet from your refrigerator and see if there's any kind of magnetic pull from your spot where they gave you your shot. Let me know what you find out. Oh my god. I just pulled out a paper clip and it's asking me if I need help with my Word document. So what, do you think that people that have a vaccine have been injected with something that's magnetic? Oh my god, they're turning everybody into robots. Oh no, dad's been reading more Facebook articles again. Does anyone know any places to take Jackson for a tattoo? Just because he's so young, I don't know any places that'll do it myself. I need recommendations. Ah, uh, how old is he? If he's a child, he can't get a tattoo, lol. He's five. I know it's a little young, but I found a really nice tat that's sort of a mother-son kind of thing, and I want to get it for him for his sixth birthday in May. Plus, children can get tats if they have a parent with them when they're getting it done. Are you insane? You want your little child to get a permanent thing on his body that hasn't even developed yet, and it's something he can't consent to? Hell, most 16-year-olds still can't get tattoos on their own, so I'm actually sat here in shock that you think getting one at five is acceptable. You definitely won't find any places that will do that. Um, last time I checked, you don't have a kid. So don't lecture me about my parenting just because you think it's wrong doesn't mean it is. No, no, no. It's definitely wrong. <laughs> I don't really think that's debatable in this situation. Everything is wrong about giving a five-year-old a tattoo. And yeah, please tell me that nobody actually did that. Hopefully everybody came to their senses and realized that that's a terrible idea. Okay, so it says here, my dad not letting me borrow an umbrella because it's in his bunker room. The bunker stuff is for doomsday, so please stop raiding our supplies. Off-limit sign is now hung on the door. All items must be signed out by completing a form signed by Dad and replaced within three days. Mum, for an umbrella? Dad, store it in a different closet than the bunker room if you don't want to have to fill out the form to sign out the umbrella. I think I'll add a keypad lock to the bunker room. It's getting bad. The the libs are ruining the country. You need to take survival training this summer instead.
instead of summer school for geometry. Even if you were like a hardcore doomsday prepper, surely umbrellas aren't that important. Yeah, the world is literally up in flames, but at least we have our umbrellas. Here are some toys. My son refused to clean his room, so I did it for him. $2 a picture, soft toys, $5 for bulk lot. Because your son refused to clean his room, you're selling all his toys on Facebook Marketplace. You're basically training your kids to think that you're the enemy. You have to just communicate and explain to them why they need to clean their room, not just scare them into doing it. That's not going to work. But don't listen to me. I'm not a parent, but I feel like that's pretty common sense. You've got 10 minutes to clean your room, otherwise I'm throwing all your toys in the garbage. Kids, but, 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 me. TikTok, mother flipper. 10 minutes? I think it'd take 10 days for your room. Actually, it'd probably take a few hours for my own room. Lol. Can attest that I have actually done this more than once, but I'm a mean mummy. I have done it in the past. There were a lot of tears. Ah, oh, you proud of that? <laughs> I really don't understand. I'm so quirky. I'm a mean mummy. I don't understand why people are proud of this sort of stuff. Oh my god, this is another magnetism one. So-and-so educated me about coins and paper clips sticking to your skin at the side of your COVID injection. Have you guys heard about this? She and her co-workers tried it and it works. I made my co-workers try it and I was quite surprised at how easily we could get a dime to stick to the bare skin. You're so full of it. I swear to God, no lying. And then sends that photo <laughs> with a coin on the arm. Am I being really dumb right now? But surely coins aren't even magnetic. And even if this was true, what does that really mean anyway? Oh my God, I'm a cyborg. Okay, so this one is about somebody's dog. I'm home and Molly is in. I put away everything she could get into. I'm going for a bath. May I ask why Molly was brought in? Because it's 30 degrees outside and she didn't even have any water out there. Hold on, what's that in Celsius? Yeah, minus one degrees. I put everything away before I went for my bath so she can't get into it. I even put the cat food in my room. May I ask why you didn't let your dog freeze? <laughs> yeah, let the dog in. It's gonna be okay. Yay, I got the job. I want to congratulate you. Oh, please. Are you really proud to use this guy's image to announce something you should be proud of? It's just a gif. It's okay. <laughs> Everybody calm down. There's a bag of girls' toys on the front lawn. Please take all. Has to be gone before daughter gets home tonight. Ha ha ha. Uh-oh. Is this a punishment or a purge? Purge. She has no idea. Oh, wow. You are a brave mother. It's not gone and I had many questions at bedtime. It's gone garbage if she asks anybody. And it says that it's not a punishment thing, but like at least talk to them first. Talk about inconsiderate. Thank you, mum, for throwing out my belongings. Okay, another vaccine one. Here sitting outside. Okay, we're on our way. Someday they will have the mark of the beast and it will be mandatory. But if you receive it, you go to hell. You won't be able to work, drive, shop, nothing without it. Be careful giving it, please. I beg you. This vaccine does doesn't prevent COVID, so what's it really for? I can't convince you, but I would never tell you to do something wrong. Now listen, I don't want to say that you're majorly overreacting, but um, I can't think of another way to finish this sentence. I'm not calling you a liar, but... But I can't think of a way to finish that sentence. I'm looking for someone to help weed my gardens every day, two to three hours a day. I'll pay every day work depending on hours that day. Can I have my daughter help you? You don't need to pay her. I'm trying to have her learn about labor work. I would love her help, but working for free is too much to ask of her. She can learn how working hard is rewarded with pay, then how to manage that money. Do you want me to message you my phone number so we can talk and make plans? Yay, somebody who's nice with common sense. I'm trying to teach her about labor. I don't want her to be paid. Exactly what that other person said. She can learn how working hard is rewarded with pay and then how to manage that money. Sounds pretty reasonable to me. <laughs> I'm going to see your grandparents for Mother's Day. What time can I pick you up? I can't go see them. I told you I'm working that day. Why would you be working? It's Mother's Day. I don't think we would do anything other than a FaceTime call anyway because of, you know, the illness. Plus, 
course, you don't have your vaccine yet, so I didn't think you would go see Nana and Pop with their condition. You only have one mum and grandma, but whatever. I guess work is more important to you than your family. And it doesn't matter that I don't have the vaccine because it doesn't even prevent anything. I saw a news article saying that they don't even protect you from the virus. It just makes the virus less intense. And it has so many harmful chemicals in it. So really, it's not helping anyone to get it. Maybe you should look it up. I don't think it's a good idea to go see them. Could easily be a carrier for the virus and I don't want to risk Nana and Pop. Plus, I figure since I can't see people, I may as well work. We can video call after. I'm done at six. And yeah, they don't cure illnesses. They just give your body the tools it needs to fight it. That's how they work. You should really get it if you're going to see Nana and Pop as often as you are. Okay, well, you better not be seeing your father for Father's Day then. I raised you so if you're going to be a B-Arch to me, then you better be a B-Arch to him too. You're very ungrateful and it hurts me after everything I've done for you. And I know how they work. No need to talk down to me. Believe it or not, you don't know everything. I know you like to think you do. I'm probably not going to see Dad either because of the restrictions. We aren't supposed to see people outside of our household and most public spaces are closed for now. I figured I would just see you guys and have belated celebrations once the lockdown lifted and we're all vaccinated. If you get it, if I get it, well, okay, whatever. I don't care. Go to work. You don't care. Just remember I'm getting younger and I'm going to die. But you want that, don't you? Yeah, I'll see you once the restrictions are lifted. Whatever, bye. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't even know what to say. Actually, yes, I do. I think it's time for wholesome memes. A kid from kindergarten who likes the same dinosaur as me. Wouldn't that make you my best friend? You run around pretending to be a T-Rex as well? We have to be buddies. I could build an air cleaning and O2 producing device, but I don't know how. I could build an apartment complex for birds and squirrels, but I don't have the time. Or I could do both by planting a tree. Nature rocks. Humans taking care of pets physically. Pets taking care of humans psychologically. <laughs> That's so weird. A fully grown adult the size of a baby. I'm gonna have nightmares. I came out on Facebook last night and I woke up to these lovely messages from my grandma. Oh, so you're gay now? Whatever. I hope you love your life because I'm pretty much finished with you. Sorry, I don't want nothing to do with this stupid devil crap. Have a great life. Yes, love you. You are sick. I will pray for you really hard. Let me know when you start acting like an adult. I will have something else to do with you. You know what? Love you and tired of you hurting me and not caring. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Well, this did it. You want to hurt me? You did it. Have a great life. And then says that word again. Oh, what's wrong? Like, I understand. They're a grandma. Like, they're older. They're stuck in their ways. But that is awful. What's wrong with you? Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Terrible. I'm so sorry you have to go through that. That's not a good person. <laughs> like, straight up. I hope you start acting like an adult. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so mad. You think every person in the world that's gay is just... It's something to do with the devil. I can't even imagine being that narrow-minded. Like, <laughs> I'm actually lost for words. Stay away from our baby girl. Every one of you, friends and family, that are so happy to be influenced by Satan and got your experimental depopulation shot that is shedding and transferring your toxic spike protein to us will no longer be allowed to be around my daughter. The doctors found out today that you were the cause of the bleeding in her GI tract. Since you're making her so sick, you will no longer be allowed around around her. Sorry. You can choose to end yourselves off, but you will no longer hurt our daughter with your toxins. <laughs> what doctor did you go to? We have surgery this Friday morning to see how much damage these stupid spike protein toxins have caused. God will heal her 100% whole, but not so confident he can do the same for those of you who are choosing to follow Satan's one world order depopulation agenda. And then they put a link there that says Philosopher's Stone. Doctor on COVID vax. We screwed up. We didn't realize the spike protein is a toxin. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my God. I don't think vaccinated people are making your 
kid sick. Oh, what? <laughs> and it all comes back to Satan, doesn't it? Yeah, people are crazy. Like, I don't even know what else to say. Okay, so this next one is with somebody's dad. And apparently he said that Bill Gates engineered the coronavirus to depopulate the earth. That's the context for this one. Oh, that's going to be the last time you hang up on me. That's going to be the last time you treat me like that. What I'm going to do is take your bank account away from you. You don't deserve it for treating me like that. Then you can just deal with your mum. I'm going to hang up on you when you start spouting conspiracy theory nonsense. It's not nonsense, it's the truth. And you're not going to talk to me like that. I'm not having it. Your mum did. That's why I left. I don't deal with bull crap. It is nonsense. Yeah, what dude? And don't take their bank account. I'd be opening a new bank account so fast if I were you. And like, yeah, maybe you don't like Bill Gates, whatever. But he's not trying to depopulate the earth. <laughs> Like, dude, people just spend way too much time looking into this stuff. No, take that back. They spend way too much time looking into the wrong stuff. <laughs> like, it's exciting. It'd be fun if that was true, you know? Like, oh my God, Bill Gates is trying to depopulate the earth. It's just not that exciting, though. That's not what's going on. And to let that sort of stuff come in between you and your kids, that's the sad part. A conversation with somebody's mum. Hi, why are buyer's agents calling me about the house? I've had five calls in the last two weeks. I I am happy to talk to you about this, should you wish. I'm asking now, what do you imagine is happening? You're selling. Due to privacy and confidentiality, I cannot put matters into writing. Send me the list of buyer's agents and it will be telling of who is interested. Why are you doing this? Doing what specifically? I'm sorry that you feel suspicion and hostility towards me. Redirect buyer's agents to other properties. Yeah, what does that mean? Obviously, there is a big demand. At a guess, a pretty sure one. Somebody and or their minions has tracked you to your current job who knows that you're associated with the property and they have approached via buyer's agents. So you're not selling. I would be more concerned about being manipulated if I was in your shoes. Don't let others get to you. What? <laughs> How confusing can you be? So they just want to know if their parents are selling the family house. <laughs> and it's just so confusing. Like, okay, I guess mum's gone insane. If I want to go through through my child's phone, I will. If I want to read my child's diary, I will. I am the adult. It is my responsibility to make sure my child is safe and cared for. And if I feel something is wrong or I'm being lied to in a heartbeat, all privacy is gone. That got 400 likes? <laughs> what? Oh, all privacy is gone. You don't have any privacy. You're going through my phone, my diary, and everything I own. Like maybe this isn't as bad as it seems, but it seems pretty bad. Okay, so I think this person got their nose pierced. I didn't know those two things were congruent. Keep it classy. Keep it classy. I love myself very much. Perhaps you should practice the same before you judge others. Have a blessed Mother's Day. Your body, your choice. I don't have to like it. In fact, I hate it. It looks incredibly ridiculous to me, and I stand by what I said. I know no one that has a nose piercing that is remotely successful in life. <laughs> I've got a nose piercing, bro. <laughs> I'll wait to see how you do in nursing school. Then we will see who is right. <laughs> how rude. Thank you for your support, Dad. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, you could have just left it at your body, your choice. But no, you had to say all that, didn't you? You know, I understand that it's hard to be the bigger person. But your parent shouldn't be more immature than you. Okay, so that is posing with a snake. That snake could have wrapped itself around your neck. The devil want to take you out of here. The enemy is busy. I bind every spirit of death trying to come your way. I rebuke the enemy. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you shall fall in Jesus name. Don't show nobody that picture. They're going to think you have evil spirits around you. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? God with you. Girl, come from out of that 
demonic place. You've lost your mind. You looking dumb. You better pray that that spirit off of you now. If I was someone, mother, you would not date my son. That looks witchy. Ah, oh. Can't you just be religious and not insane? Like, they just believe in, like, this stuff to a fault, you know? Like, just calm down. They would have taken a photo with a snake for about five seconds. And no, it's the devil. They've joined the dark side. Like, you might be overreacting just a little bit, don't you think? Okay, so this person drove from school to their work and apparently one of their parents is upset about it. This is not how it works. You get the vehicle I purchased for you and you take off without letting me know? The vehicle is not in your name and you didn't even bother to check on me. I'm not sure the vehicle should be in your name based on your behavior. Dude, it's such a short window. I was five minutes late as it is. I told you I was going straight to work. I'm sorry if there was any misunderstanding. I thought you knew what my plan was. Also, my behavior, if you're thinking of not putting the vehicle in my name because I went straight to work, then I have no words. Just come inside to check in, especially since your mum had her second COVID vaccine. Dude, you can figure transportation. Your behavior is not helpful. All the blame is always me. I'm sorry I was worried about work. I didn't mean to make you feel brushed past or anything, and I sincerely didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I was just in a rush, that's all. I changed in school to my uniform and everything. I'm sorry. And can you please stop threatening to take away my only means of transportation to work? Especially when I'm at work. You have no idea how much it stresses me out. I have to run around here wondering if this will be my last shift. This has happened more than three times. We never discussed me popping in the house, but we did discuss me going straight to work. Again, I'm sorry if I made you feel looked past or if you felt like I didn't care. That was not the case. I was just rushing and worried about being late. Not good enough. The car is gone. You didn't think to check on me after the COVID vaccine. I literally just got back to work, mum. Are you serious over a misunderstanding? I told you I was rushing. Done. I provided the transportation. You think you're smarter than me? Figure it out. No, they don't. <laughs> That's not what's going on here. <laughs> you're saying some crazy stuff and they're upset about it. Yeah, that's so scary. Like, I'd hate to have to worry about that sort of stuff. And it sounds like you've got enough stuff to worry about as it is. Like, without this sort of stuff. Okay, so in radical unschooling. No judgy comments, please. My daughter is going on nine this year and still seems to have no real interest in reading. She can read some words and I recently discovered she actually knows the sound of the letters. However, it seems that doesn't really work with a lot of words in the English language. I never learned phonics, even struggled with it, and just picked up on reading early on myself. Given her age, it has started to seem like a hindrance to her doing things because I know that a lot of activities at her age will expect that, and I don't want her nor I to have to deal with the judgment and possible neglect reports. She already mentioned that she doesn't like wearing clothes with writing because people will ask, what? Ask what it says. So I guess I'm just looking for reassurance. I have faith that she will learn soon enough and that right now it's just not really needed. But like I said, I feel like she would get to be more social and I know she's lacking in that. You have to actually teach your kid to read if you want them to learn how to read and they're not at school being taught how to read. What? You think they're just going to pick it up? <laughs> oh my god. I shouldn't laugh because that's insane. But oh my god, isn't that obvious? You have to teach them to read. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think we need wholesome memes and we need them now. How am I supposed to enjoy heaven when he's down there like that? Don't worry, we'll send another dog to ease his pain. But first, you have to train her. Okay, the first thing you gotta know is what to do when he's sad. <laughs> so cute. Makes me wanna cry happy tears. When you're learning a new language and a native speaker asks if you're also native. Oh my god, can you imagine that? I don't know any second languages, so... That's never going to happen to me, but <laughs> that would be crazy. I did it. I'm good at speaking a different language and so good at it that like people don't even notice. That's so sick. The Adventures of Kiwi with a Knife. This is nice. The perfect device as cold as ice. It's very precise. I hope you enjoyed this slice. Oh, Kiwi, you remembered my birthday. Kiwi? <laughs> oh, put down the knife, Kiwi. Okay, so this is a text conversation 
reunion with somebody's sister and this is what their dad put on Facebook. Ah, both my children just called me out of the blue to say I love you dad and I miss you. Nothing could top that. Blessed beyond words. Um, did you call? Because I sure as hell didn't. He must have other kids. Okay, so they're his only kids and they didn't say anything. <laughs> oh no. What the hell? Is he okay? I should comment and be like, which children? He's obviously just looking for attention. Like, that's so weird. And definitely would have wanted them to see it. Yeah. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. I just told my kid, oh no, the monsters are coming. And then quickly turned off the lights and closed the bathroom door that has no windows for 20 full seconds. And when I opened the door and turned the light on, the look of complete and utter terror on her face just made my entire day. She's three, about to turn four. Other people not being able to tell me what to do is the best part of having my own kid. Oh, it's a human being. You're not talking about like a pet. And even then, you shouldn't do that to your pets either. But you're talking about your kids like they're not your children. Ugh. And it really doesn't sound like it was very fun for your kid. You literally said the look of complete and utter terror on her face just made my entire day. So you're doing this because you think it's funny. Your child is probably scared out of their mind. Oh, that's so bad. I'm tired of doing my kids laundry. I'm getting rid of this electric stacked whirlpool twin thin and teaching them how to wash their own clothes the old fashioned way. I told them they can either wash their own clothes or go naked. So don't be surprised when you come to pick it up. Asking $400 and if you pick up today, we can help load it. So you're not planning on buying another washer and dryer? You're just going to get rid of it. <laughs> that sounds like such a pain in the ass for everyone. I don't really see the point here. Oh, yay. A huge inconvenience. <laughs> Great. The title of this one says, I got a call in the middle of work from my dad who passed away a few months ago. I sent this to the family group chat, fully knowing it was my mum who called. Oh, no. Who just called me from dad's phone? Please do not do that. I'm in the studio and seeing that was very hard. And then mum says he's still alive. Please never do that again. Oh. <laughs> do I laugh? Do I cry? I'm so uncomfortable. Can we do wholesome memes yet? Oh my god. This one's for the parents. If your baby has a diaper rash, use flour. Yeah, like cooking flour. Put it in a pan alone and let it burn. Once it's brown, let it cool off and put it in the diaper. It works in hours. Way better than rash cream. Thank me later. What? Surely that's not a real thing. Obviously, this is not my area of expertise. <laughs> I have no idea. FDA approval means nothing when you realize the FDA also approves of pesticides in our food. Surely they can tell the difference between like having a lethal amount of something and like having a trace amount. I don't know anything about what they're talking about, but people are so paranoid, especially on Facebook. This person couldn't go to class because they had really bad stomach cramps. And this is what their parents said. Okay, I just let your daddy know that you're missing class today. I think you need to have a conversation with him. Okay. It's irresponsible to miss class unless you are absolutely, absolutely dying. No, it's actually irresponsible to go to class if you don't feel well because you're just going to make other people sick. There are so many parents out there that think they're right about everything and they're really not. Four, protector of lesbians. Oh, I think all these people are only looking for attention of any kind. Oh. <laughs> Guys, it actually is almost whole some memes time. I can't handle this subreddit. I'm a bad mum because I sent my kid to school today after they called me yesterday and said his test was positive. In my defense, I already had plans for lunch and an appointment scheduled to get my hair done. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I didn't want to have to cancel last minute. He said he felt fine anyways and besides, it's nothing more than a cold lull. Yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's wholesome memes time. When someone likes the same Power Rangers as me, me in second grade, wouldn't that make you my friend? <laughs> oh, we're best buddies forever. That's so cute. You like the same 
same character as me? We are going to be friends for life. Every time I pass by a surface with just a hint of reflectivity. Oh, damn, you look good. Damn right I do. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I am so sexy. I go through my 14-year-old's phone regularly. I have passwords to everything or she can't have it. We own it, we pay for the service, and we decide what she can and can't do on it. That's what active parenting looks like in 2021. Parents who aren't doing this are negligent. Hashtag I said what I said. This is not gonna end well in the long run. Like, I know parents think they're probably doing the right thing here. And I totally understand that you want to make sure your kids are safe, but you can make sure they're safe on the internet without completely invading their privacy. The title of this one says, I went to my boyfriend for the weekend and my mum decided to text me this while I was sleeping. I'm an adult by the way. Text or call, where are you? Hello? And that's at 11.21am and there's like a minute between these messages. We are here worried about you. It's 11.30 and we haven't heard a word from you. Are you okay? Are you with some guy I don't know? Call us and let us know what's going on. I'm calling grandma shortly. You said you were coming home in the AM. Are you okay? What's going on? And these are literally a minute apart. What is the deal here? This is ridiculous. You have dropped off the grid. I'm giving you a little longer and if I don't hear from you, I'm calling the police. Oh my god, this is freaking ridiculous that I have to sit here on our break worrying about you. Get home now. I don't know if this guy did something to ya. You've been texting me all along. What is going on? I trust you like a nil right now. Grow up when. If there's something wrong with you, have the big call. Me now. Boy, you are really scaring me. Please contact home. Please call home. Brick, you, you little B arch, you won't do this crap to me ever again. Grow up and have some respect. If you're coming home, then stay here. Wow. So yeah, they're an adult and they went to visit their boyfriend for the weekend. And this is how their mum reacts while they're asleep. Wow. They didn't even sit and wait like half an hour. Like they were actually texting every single minute. Oh god, that's scary. The saga continues. Our son refuses to put clothes away, so we sold his dresser. He won't make his bed. Getting rid of the bed. Please don't message me about how cruel I am. This is called a tough love. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's not. Love and a logic style. Actually, it turns out the joke will probably be on me since it doesn't appear he's learning a lesson. Oh, really? <laughs> anyway, this nowhere near new bed frame is no longer available in this color, so get it while it's hot. Website pitches for reference, bedroom pitches for color. Oh, wow. They actually think that that's the answer. Oh, no. Are you up? Please let me know. At a gaming club, not looking at phone. I probably won't be for at least a couple more hours. Whatever. Just worried about you. You had me scared. Sue me for caring so much. Are you working tonight? Hello? Are you working tonight? Are you working or not? I don't know why you're yelling at me. I literally told you I wasn't going to have my phone on me. And I appreciate you checking in and being worried, but I never said I was mad at you. Also, no, I'm off tonight. And the title says she called me six times all while my phone was in my bag. Oh, wow. <laughs> I forgot how intense this subreddit was. My 13-year-old daughter doesn't know her times tables or the states of Australia, let alone capital cities or what other countries look like on a map. Thank goodness I'm not the only one. My 15-year-old is way behind and I blame myself completely. It's a huge stress every day. Some things just don't sink in and I feel like I'm ruining his life but I found something. I'm about to and it goes on. My son is almost 13. I've homeschooled him since he was 6. He still doesn't know the alphabet months or even days of the weeks. He just doesn't remember. Right so they're talking about homeschooling their kids but they're not learning anything so they're not putting them in a school? Oh no, surely they're not being serious. Yeah, like this comment says, this isn't homeschooling, it's unschooling. For homeschooling, the parent tends to 
to put the effort in to actually teach the child. Yeah, that's right. I'm just hoping it's not real. Another homeschooling one. Hey folks, I'm homeschooling my kids and trying to educate them on our true history. Not the indoctrination stuff taught in school and every textbook out there. Does anyone have any good resources suitable for kids? Already onto Flat Earth, Tartaria. Interested in giants, war lies, colonialism, actually anything that's not the narrative that we're taught. Thanks. You're teaching your kids that the Earth is flat and that there are giants. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> like, do I laugh or do I cry? This one says, want a gem to wake up to after a 12-hour night shift? I figured I'd get a call yesterday. I bet your grandfather got one. You don't even consider me, so don't even bother calling me. I was at work at the hospital yesterday. I didn't call anyone. Also, it's a two-way street. Yeah, like, obviously jumping to the conclusion that they didn't want to call them. And also, yeah, why didn't they ring them? Why are so many fully grown adults so childish? So when are you coming home? I'm not sure. We'll probably do our Christmas on Christmas Eve. Oh, that is such a BS. You were not married. You need to get your ass home for Christmas Eve or I'll take your gifts back. I don't even know who you are anymore. You're so brainwashed. I mean, you live with him. What is there to get that he hasn't already gotten? And lastly, if your grandmother dies or me, you will have the weight on your shoulders for the rest of your life that you did not want to come home and be with your family at Thanksgiving or Christmas. Shame on you. Oh my god. And the title says, does she think that talking to me like this makes me want to come home? Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. Yeah, guys, I think we need to do one more and then we need some wholesome memes. Every Christmas, my dad prints off my brother's entire search history from the past year and makes it into a scrapbook for the family's entertainment. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That's more than enough insane parents for today. Me asking a girl out thinking that she'll probably say no. What took you so long? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Does she like me in that way? I don't know. <laughs> and they're just like, oh my god, yeah, I like you, okay? Let's date. So cute. You've been down lately. Is everything okay? I'm not sure. Do you want to come to my house and eat waffles? Really? Yeah. Remember to care for your friends. Oh, this is so much better than insane parents. God, that's adorable. Oh my god. Random boost of motivation. Procrastinating. <laughs> this is what I literally just went through before this video. I was like sitting on my phone on Instagram, like just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I was like, you know what? We need to read some insane parents right now. Me, see someone losing their confidence. Also me, genuine compliments go. You're really nice. You're such a great person. You're so genuine and you're so smart. Ah, oh, how cute. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and let me know down below what you thought. And today's comment of the day goes to insert cheesy pun here. With a fun history fact, pineapples used to be a symbol of status due to their rarity in Europe and because of this many older buildings have carved pineapple details. I did not know that and I'm so glad I do know that. That's one of those things that I'm just going to bring up randomly in a conversation with my friends. You know that back in the day pineapples were actually really rare. So yeah, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Okay, I think I need some Simpsons guys. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time.